Oh, like like me like it's gonna be people that think like me and they know that I'm a solid person and then in, in, in real life I'll go over and beyond for for people but like man came fast so in that same time period it got like you know and then Baker X Derek actually ended up posting me on his page which I thought was cool when I was like he was like you know I'm sorry about what happened that was between me and Icon you know follow this guy he's a very cool guy and that was that was honestly that was dope for him to do that he didn't he didn't have to do it I really I explained what happened because I, I just like I'm pretty sure people wanted to know and people wanted to know because when I did the story I had a thousand maybe 2,000 people watch that story and normally when I post a story bro I never get nothing but like 10 maybe 15 people tops I'm not gonna lie to you so that same time period uh 650e do it with Dan had a freaking meetup I'm like yo this would be a, such a dope opportunity for me to meet these two individuals because okay do it Dan stays in Georgia and Chase on two wheels stays and, and, and also stays in Georgia. He stays in Atlanta. Never ever in my life have come across this guy. I thought one at one point I ran into his bike. I'm not even sure why I would want to like meet up with him. Like I, I honestly I don't know what I would say. You know, I, I, yeah, how you doing, man? I, I watch your stuff on YouTube. You know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not one of them people that'll plug myself in and be like, well, I make motor blogs. Let's link up together. You know what I mean? Even though they say that's how you get seen. Um, I kind of never cross paths, but here it is. I have a meetup spot for Do With Dan and I have a meetup spot for 650. I have a problem with big crowds of people, but I was like, yo, I had a friend. Well, I, said, I, got, a, I got a dope homeboy named Sully. He's like a brother to me. He likes 650. So I was like, okay, cool. And he was like, you know, all right, let's 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 go. I got off work. I rode 45 minutes to go meet up with Do It With Dan and 650 E. And when I pulled up, I pulled up, I guess I just pulled up with too much energy. I'm like, a, I'm an energizer bunny sometimes, especially when I get excited. I love motorcycles. I love motorcycles and everything to deal with motorcycles. So I pulled up with the, yo, you know, I, I did the, the one little... I, I promise you, I remember what I did. I did the one little growl, and then I parked my bike. Then I got off, as I normally do. Like, everybody, this is what people know about me. Now, this is the old me. The new me, I don't do all of this no more because people people don't kick the same vibe. People don't... If My energy level is at the same as everybody around me. If, if everybody around me is dry, I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm not even going to waste... I'm not going to waste my positive energy on even trying to uplift anybody anymore because that's just draining me because I can't even get you to where I'm at. So, honestly, all right. But I pulled up at that time super happy. Jumped off the bike. I'm dapping up everybody. If, if you were there that day, you know who I was because I pulled up maybe the last minute dapping up folks. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, fist bump. Boom, bam, boom, bam right i know no one knows me i'm just saying hello to everyone I, I mean that's how you make friends you talk you speak you yeah i walk up to dan i'm like yo what's up bro fist bump he like looks at me like uh, what and i'm like well uh, all right cool you know so then i look at 650e i'm like what's up bro 650e but i'm like okay hey all right I'm like, okay, all right, uh, I get it. You don't know me. You don't know me. It's, yeah, I'm just a person that watches your your YouTube all the time. I, I like, I subscribe, I hit the notifications, I follow all your videos, all your projects. I mean, you don't owe me anything, but at the same time, I kind of want to discuss certain things and ask you some questions about cameras and stuff. This never showed up. This never happened because... When I got the the vibe that I got was like, get the hell away from me, and I kind of was like, all right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm not gonna fake the funk for nobody. Like, if you see me in person, bro, I promise you, there will be none of that extra. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna treat you like one of my peoples. Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You doing all right? Cool. Hey, and then if you ask me a question, I'll answer it. 
if if I know if like actually if I know how to answer if I know what it is that you're trying to accomplish you know what I mean so to get that type of energy from them it kind of it turned me off bro I'm not gonna lie it really turned me off really hurt so ever since then I kind of just stood away from big motor bloggers it's so much so that when they have big motor vlog meet and I know it doesn't it's not a big thing and I'm I, I, you know, I, I, I remember talking to this dude one time, and I was saying to him, I was like, yo, they're having this big meet, and this was just a long time ago, he says to me, he's like, oh, I, don't, I ain't worried about it, I'm like, be sure, bro, it's pretty fun, it's, nah, I don't really mess with those guys, and when he said it to me, I was like, dang, how can you not mess with some cool people, but then, now, people ask me, hey, bro, you gonna go to such and such big old meet, I'll be like, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm totally good on that. I'm just going to go the other way. I'm not going to get treated like I'm some weird guy for actually supporting and following somebody. And, you know, no, I'm good. I'm not even, I'm not subscribed. I'm not notified. I, I'm good. I'll just create my own content that I like to produce. No, I'm just working on consistency. I'm working on a good audio base, uh, audience base. You know what I mean? I'm just that's that's what I'm doing, bro. I stay in the south. A lot of people in my city, they don't. It's not a lot of folks in my city that support, and then it's not a lot of people that don't support you if you ain't like in the streets all the time, like you know, really plugging yourself in. I'm not in the streets as much as I used to be. You know, I used to be in the streets very heavy, like I, I really was. East Side, Panola Road, QT, every day, like every single day. Listen to me, every night, BP every single night not no missed nights i went from that to you know i hit a bike night every other night or something like that and then you know i hit the mob rides now i i, I still hit mob rides but it's every other mob ride because I, I don't get that type of off days and freedom and, and and stuff like that so you know that it is what it is this guy has a bullet hole in his car huh interesting I just, you know, I, I say all that to say this, you know, sometimes if you don't like the way people do stuff or the way things go, you should do your own thing. Don't be afraid to go out and do your own thing. A lot of people be like, nah, I shouldn't do that because there's a lot of big people that do this, that, and the third, and they got way more bigger folks. So what? Who cares? Like... Sometimes you don't even want to follow the big person. You want to follow the little guy. The dude that just is the everyday guy. Not some super, you know, millionaire type dude with all this crazy stuff. And Nah, man. I'm, I'm good on that, dude. I'm a regular human being. I do 40 hours a week. I go home. Actually, I do 46 now. But, you know, I go home. I hang out with my fiance. I'm just that's that's just it, bro. Like I'm not even trying to be like no superstar no more. Like no more. At one point I did. I was like, I'm gonna quit my job and legitly do YouTube. Now it's more of a joke than anything else. Wasn't so much at first, but then I started to realize like, yeah, and nah, I have to make videos every day. That does sound nice, but then I have to deal with people. I'm not really a big people person, but I am though. Like, I just like to match people vibe. I like to match people energy. I like to like if somebody's cool, I like to be cool with them. You know what I mean? It's not uh, any type of other thing. A, a lot of times you won't get those type cool people. You, you you don't get people who whose vibe is the same as yours. They. They get kind of weird and, and kind of, you you know. I do. I, I actually, I, I love to hang around folks with the same mindset. Oh, especially people that's in bike life. I used to have a, a, a group that was just, we was just hardcore bike riders. That's all we did. Man, this truck up front is really weird. This is a really weird situation right now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I got cars over here got a big rig over here and then i got like cars doing weird stuff i got an ambulance behind me that could turn on his lights at any time yep and i got a passenger helmet on my bike 
that's not really on my bike. It's really like on my body. And I'm going to motor style that's 45 minutes away from where I'm at. Okay, cool. I'm glad we discussed that. Why are everybody going so slow? I, I don't know. Yeah, and at first I was like, nah, I shouldn't make that video. But then I was like, you know what? Let me give myself some freaking clarity, bro. Let, let me get this off my chest. Because I done had that on my chest for a while. I don't know if anybody freaking knew this. But I was freaking... I was freaking... Uh, I run that Icon Challenge like forever ago. And it, I still get people that be like, yo... 20 I know you 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 won the challenge and I feel so positive about it you know what I mean like I I legitly be like yo yeah that was me I won that that's I did that it was great it was wonderful this is the best thing of my life if if I could say anything else I what oh that guy seemed cool did he now for that he did the whole wave and then he did the whole i'm not really sure where he's going look like he's in the cut you don't see too many people that's vibing out like that anyway yeah man you know we when, when we came together it was like where it's more of a brotherhood and family than it was a bike. Like I forgot all about bikes. We riding bikes, but it just didn't feel like we was riding our bikes. But you know, it is what it is. You know, all I'm telling you, man, never be afraid to stand out on your own, man. Don't don't allow these people to crush you, to crush what you like to do, because they done somewhat did what you did. The thing that makes motovlogging different is the fact that, uh... Is the fact that everything is different. Every, it's not, everybody's not going to be the same person. Everybody's not going to do the same thing. Everybody's not going to talk about the same stuff. Everything is different, you know what I mean? That's what makes it good. As always, it's your boy, it's Mr. 20 West. I'm going to stop here, man. I don't want to start rambling, but I'm glad I got that off my chest, man. That was like some 2017 stuff there, man.